Hello and welcome back. Uh, here we're going to start getting into some exercises on um, relationships uh, of probability. So specifically we're going to look at the addition law. So how, how can we add together the probabilities of, of events occurring? Now I'm going to go about this in slightly different ways, kind of two parallel ways uh, to hopefully help illustrate a point and, and illustrate just how this works and why it works the way it does. So let's, let's start off with a problem that is loosely based on real events. We've had a couple of pubs open up in town and so of course you know, we like to have some cheap wing nights and beer so we need to go evaluate them and, and uh, see if they're worth going to. So here we have an example of pubs open up in town. I talk to a few friends who have already been and see what they think about it. Three people complain about the beer, four people complain about the quality of the wings. Uh, two people complain about both the beer and the wings, and three people have no complaints whatsoever. So what, what I have here, let me just draw this first like this. So here's a space. I've talked to, if I add all these up, three, two, I've talked to 12 people. So within this rectangular space, this contains all 12 people. So it, it contains, it, it basically states that each of the 12 people, 12 people that I've talked to has an opinion. And so those 12 opinions, they exist within this, this rectangular space, okay? Now, if I split that up into these four different categories of opinions, or in this case, events, the event that you dislike the beer, the event that you dislike the wings, uh, etc. So here I'm gonna have two circles. Of course, this is known as a Venn diagram. You've probably seen these before. So now I'm partitioning that space into these different possible outcomes. So within that space, again, within that black rectangle, I've got 12 people. And now all I'm gonna do is group them uh, into the relevant space according to their opinions uh, on, on this, this restaurant. So here the red circle, uh, this represents the people who dislike the beer, the blue circle, this is the people who disliked the wings. Notice that there's a space that intersects. That's right in here. And this represents those who dislike both the beer and the wings. And the notation we use here is this kind of upside down U. Uh, that means the intersection. So this corresponds to those people who sort of are a part of both events. They both dislike the beer and they dislike the wings. So now let's put our numbers in here. So for the people who dislike the beer and only the beer, there's three of them. So there's three people out here. The people who dislike the wings and only the wings, there's four of them and they're out here. The people who complained about both the beer and the wings, there's two of them that are in here. Okay. And Finally, I have three people who had no complaints whatsoever. So let's put those three people there standing out here. So there's all 12 of my, my friends that I've talked to, and now I've grouped them uh, into their relevant space, depending on their opinions on these different um, characteristics of the new pub. So now let's calculate some probabilities. Uh, so what we can do now and these are really relative probabilities because it's relative to the number of people that I've spoken to. So let's now, instead of talking about this space that contains 12, oh, I have uh, somebody, I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos. My dog Justina is telling me it's time to get outside, so I better, I better get through this video as fast as I can. Okay, so instead of talking about this group of 12 people, let's sort of convert this into a probability space. So now I have, I'm going to redraw this rectangle. The area of this rectangle equals one. So in other words, what that means is that there's a probability of one uh, or 100% chance that one of my 12 friends has an opinion about this, about the beer or the wings uh, at this new pub, right? So there's a 100% chance uh, that if I ask somebody about the beer or the wings at this restaurant, they'll have an opinion of some sort, okay? So let's, let's partition that probability space 
uh, into its relevant relevant areas. So now I'm going to have I'm going to redraw these circles. So there's my blue circle, uh, sorry, red circle, and now here's my blue circle. Now I'm going to call this red circle. This is the probability that somebody dislikes beer. And this is the probability that somebody dislikes wine, uh, wings, sorry. And right in here, this is the intersection. So this is the probability that you dislike the wings and the beer. Okay, so how can we do these calculations? Well, there's one little trick and there's something that can really easily um, be mistaken here. When we're calculating the probability of that the person will dislike the beer. It can be really easy to just look at this and say, well, there's three people there who didn't like the beer. So three people uh, out of the 12, well, that's a probability of 0.25. Well, we've forgotten somebody here because there's those people who don't like the beer, but there's also these people who don't like the beer and the wings. So they like both, but they still are part of that probability space. They're still part of that group of people who dislike the beer. So this means that that relative probability of people who dislike the beer, that's gonna be three who only dislike the beer, plus those two who dislike the beer as well as the wings, but they still count as disliking the beer uh, out of the 12. So now I have five out of 12, 5 divided by 12, so I'll call that 41.67, so 41, let's say 417, keep it simple. So that's the area of this red space, is 0.417. Now if I look at the area of the blue space, so the area of the blue space, so this is the probability of people not liking the wings. So this is for people who just dislike the wings, plus those people who dislike both, divided by 12. So this one I can see is going to be 0.5. So this area is 0.5. What is the intersection in this space? So those who dislike both the beer and the wings, well, that's only these two people here. So let's uh, keep my color coding go here. So that's these two people uh, out of 12. And so that's uh, about 117, 0.17, sorry. So here now I've got, this is gonna be pretty small to write in there. I'll write it up here too, 0.17. Okay. We're doing okay, I hope. Uh, oh, and we have the people who had no complaints, those three people. So they're gonna be out here. I'll come to the notation for that uh, uh, in a second. So that's gonna be these three, three people are out here, three over 12. Three divided by 12, so that's 0.25 is out here. Okay, so let's answer our questions then. We haven't even gotten into our problems. Part A, what is the probability that you will enjoy the beer? Okay, so I have in the red space, that's the probability that I will dislike the beer. So the probability that I will enjoy the beer is everything outside of that circle in this probability space. So what that means, uh, uh, that's the complement. Let me get my red back. So that's the complement to this probability, right? That's the probability that I will not like the beer. So its complement is the probability that I, uh, I will enjoy the beer. And so that's one minus the probability that I'll dislike the beer. So one minus 0.417 and one minus, one minus 0.417 is 0.583. 
So there's a probability of 0.583 uh, that I will enjoy the beer. Little more than half. What's the probability that I'll enjoy the wings? So again, in that blue circle, that's the probability that I will not enjoy the wings. So the probability that I'll enjoy it would be the area all outside of that. Everything out here. And so again, this is simply the complement uh, to the probability that I'll dislike the wings. So one minus probability that I'll dislike the wings is one minus 0 0.5. And so that's equal to 0 0.5. So there's a 0 0.5 probability that I will enjoy the wings. There's a 0 0.5 probability that I'll dislike the wings. C. What is the probability that you will dislike either the wings or the beer or both? So now we're looking for the union, what is called the union of these two events. So this, the notation, is uh, the union. Looks like a U, I guess, for union. So now what this is, the probability that I will dislike the wings, so if I dislike the wings, that's this probability here, plus the probability that I dislike the beer, let's see, this one here, so that's this probability here, or both, which of course is that intersection. Now, here I've got three colored regions. I've got the probability that I'll dislike the beer, the probability I'll dislike the wings, and that intersection. But notice the intersection is green, the combination of the blue and the yellow. That means that if I count that, it's going to get double counted. So what we need to do in our calculation here is, well, I want to add the probability, let me keep my color coding going here. So I want, ah, what's going on? Erase. So here I want the probability that I'll dislike the beer plus the probability that I'll dislike the wings. But now each of those two probabilities both include this region in the middle that intersection because this here this probability includes those who dislike just the beer as well as those who dislike the beer on the wings this includes the probability that will dislike the wings including those people who dislike both the wings and the beer so if I only added these together I'm going to be double counting those individuals who dislike both so what we need to do is then subtract the intersection of the people who disliked both the beer and the wings. Otherwise, I will be double counting. Let me just move my, move my face here. Okay, so let's plug in some numbers and let's figure out what this is going to be. So here our probability of disliking the beer, this is 0.417 plus our probability of disliking the wings minus our probability of disliking both and we find the final answer is let's see oops, 0.417 oops 0.417 plus 0.5 minus 0.17 point let's round it 0 0.75 point 0.75 is the probability that I will dislike at least something uh, in this pub so it's not looking great uh, what's what's the probability D? What's the probability I'll enjoy both the beer and the wings? Well, now I've got enough information. There's two different ways that I could calculate this, really. 
One is look at the complement of this union of the event. So if there's a 75 or a 0.75 chance that I will dislike something, then there's going to be, where can I write up here somewhere, a one minus 0.75 or a 0.25 chance that I will enjoy both the wings and the beer. And of course, that's the same probability that we have down here. It was just one, this is equal to one minus the union. Oops, A and B. This is one minus the union of beer and wings. So 25% chance that I'll be happy, 75% chance that I'll be unhappy. Uh, and of course we can break that down into uh, my probability of being satisfied with uh, either the wings or the beer. Part E, why have 12 of my friends already been there but they haven't invited me? <laughs> oh, maybe it's because I'm stuck in my office doing uh, statistics videos. Okay, so I hope that, uh, I hope that, that helps clarify things for you a little bit. Sometimes working with these probabilities, it can be very tedious and awkward to, to wrap your minds around. But uh, here it is uh, in all its glory. I, I hope that uh, it's helped. Maybe this will help. I think my dog, Justina, she's given up waiting for me. Now she's gone back to having a nap. Justina, time to go for a walk? Yeah, I want to go for a walk. Oh, okay, there. I guess it's time to go for a walk. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.